What's up, Purists? It's Bob from Purist Motorsports. Let's get 93.33 up to the dyno. All right, everyone, before we get the car loaded up and take off, I will say that we're going to tune this the old school way. We're going to use an FMU and uh, fuel pressure. There, That will definitely change peak power, but the owner, um, this is a client car, by the way, it's not ours. Uh, the owner's looking for reliability and safety. So peak power, while a lot of people get caught up in the numbers, we're hoping for good numbers today, but we're probably not going to get lost in that thought. So the key for this trip is to make sure the motor is in good, healthy condition and it's not going to eat itself. Make sure the air fuel ratio is correct and to uh, make sure it's reliable. So uh, we're going to Blue Oval Classics. Uh, I can't say enough about Bo and who he is and what he does at Blue Oval Classics. I've done business with him for uh, almost 20 years. He's been in business over 20 years. He's also a multi-regional champion in the American Iron Series. Uh, I'll give a little snippet of that car we get there. But, um, well, let's just get rolling with the car, get there, and um, see what we can do.
Okay, so 410 horsepower isn't too bad for the big pulley that's on this car. You can see it. Uh, it produced a little over 8 PSI, we'll call it 8.5. Um, so it turned out really well, and I'm pleased. The owner is pleased as well. Uh, it's reliable, it's safe, and it can be had, well, I mean, with 410 horsepower, that's almost 500 at the crank. You'll have a lot of fun on the street. Uh, I'll say this, a lot of people put six, 700 horsepower in these cars, and truthfully, there's uh, traction is your limit at that point. You, you really can't put it down. It just spins, even with, I don't know, 300 plus size tires, it's not easy to keep it to the ground. But um, there's a lot more that's left in this. I'm sure you would agree. Um, sorry, kick this around, make room, small space. But there is a lot left with a much smaller pulley. Go to say 11 pounds of boost. You could add a chip, put some 42 pound injectors in it. It has 36s in it now. Uh, and then do a custom tune. Yeah, you could probably gain, I don't know, 50, 60 horsepower. Uh, that that's possible potentially more but uh, for what this car is going to be used for which is driven on the street with AC uh, it's going to do really well and um, we're pleased because we didn't scatter metal and everything <laughs> well we didn't sacrifice any metal so anyways um, that's it the car did great we're very happy, uh, very happy, because we made it there and back. It's uh, now a day after. It's raining, so we missed the rain by about 24 hours. Don't forget to subscribe, tag, like, and share. Uh, really appreciate all those watching. R really do. Thank you so much for tuning in if you've made it this far. And uh, bless you if you have. But uh, as always, whether you're driving them or restoring them, always enjoy them. Peace.